Hey guys, uh, Herf here. I uh, thought we would try this game here for um, a couple of minutes. This is, uh, it's an oldie, oldie, oldie. It's an old DOS game uh, from, you can see in the screen, um, the loading screen there that it says it's from 1988. So this is an old uh, AD&D game called Pool of Radiance. Uh, I am not a big AD&D guy. Like I never played, you know, real life role playing stuff, but um, I had this game back probably when it first came out, I, I'd guess in the very late eighties, you know, maybe 89 and, uh, probably played it on my dad's old PC and, um, I played it on my, my first PC, uh, back in, uh, yeah, probably 1990, maybe late 1990. I probably bought my first computer, which was, uh, <laughs> what was it? A 40 meg hard drive. Um. You know, it's probably an old uh, 286. I don't even know if 286s were around that. Could have even been older and worse than that. Uh, 40 meg hard drive, you know, had a five and a quarter floppy. And I think it had a, a three and a half inch floppy as well. Um, tiny bit of memory. I mean, I remember back in the day, you know, 40 gig hard drive. I'm never going to fill that up. You know, that is so big. That's like the ocean, man. Like you're trying to fill the ocean, you know, 40 megs hard drive. Um, I think my, my cell phone has 64 gig right now. Uh, so well, maybe 128, I don't remember. Um, so this is, uh, AD and D. So when you start this game up, what, what I'll, I'll back up a little bit. I'm playing this through, a, a freeware program called DOSBox. So anybody viewing this thing may be familiar with, you know, a DOSBox. It's, uh, an actual emulator. So when this game came out, it was before uh, Windows was even a thing. So this is pre-Windows 3.1, you know. Uh, so it was truly DOS. I mean, you, you, your, your, your system was formatted, your hard drive was formatted with the DOS operating system. And you would plug in a floppy or you had a program, you know, sitting on your hard drive that you would run. And that was your graphics, right? You did not have uh, actual Windows. You, you had a command line prompt and uh, just like, you know, you type in, you know, CMD in your Windows 10 device um, and you get a, you get a prompt, right? That was all you got back then. So anyway, I digress. So when you fire this game up, it asks you for this code wheel. Um, now in the original game, you know, you had a little, a little uh, paper wheel uh, that, that, you know, the back of it was fixed and it had a, a disc that would, uh, was somehow like riveted in there that it would it would spin so you would have to spin these things around and make a code um what i'm gonna do is uh actually i don't think i can show this on camera because of the, the way this is recording but uh, there's plenty of websites out there if you manage to you know if you have this um the rom for this game um, there were plenty of websites out there. If you just type in pool of radiance code wheel into, you know, a search engine, uh, that there's a, a few of them out there that, that emulate, you know, this exact thing. So, um, I happen to know that this one here is a freet cause I already looked it up. So, uh, I don't know what that word means if it means anything, but, uh, so let's see, um, I'm going to load a game and I've, I've pre-made, it was uh, save game A. So I pre-made a handful of characters here. So you can make a party in this game, you know, I think maximum of six. Um, I think I can hit V for view right here. So I made, I made a Herf character. Um, you could see the, the stats he has. Now I, um, when you make these characters, and, I, and I'm, I didn't show this on camera just because I've, I've messed around with recording here so long, trying to figure out how to record this old thing on this screen. Uh, but effectively, you can just kind of heap, keep hitting a, a, like a roll. You know, you can say no, 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 until you find a character with attributes that you wanted to keep. So I, um, all I did is, you know, I don't really remember how to play this game, so I just made a few fighters. Um, and I just said, fighters need strength, right? And probably some dexterity or something. So 
I uh, I kept going until I got like a really good um, a really good strength here. So he's he's got a maximum of 18 strength. I think the the highest this will go is 18 with 99 in the uh, in the parentheses. And I don't know if that's true for all the races. You know, you you can pick from five or six races, male or female. Do you want him to be a cleric, a magic user, a fighter, a thief? Um, so I, I, I have no idea what to do with thieves. I know thieves can backstab and things like that. But anyway, so this is... Um, it, it took me a while to figure this out, to scroll between these guys. It's not your arrow keys. It's the... For me, it's the number one. So I don't know if that's a function of, you know, DOSBox or however this gets mapped. But So the character Taven... Uh, we'll view Taven quickly. Taven is uh, my son's dog. <laughs> so he's my oldest son's dog. Uh, so I decided, you know, he's a fierce warrior. He's kind of a, a, a pit bull terrier. So uh, he's very friendly. He's very good. Uh, but I made him this, you know, bare chested kind of. He, he's a a black dog with some white accent. So I, I gave him the dark hair, <laughs> which is all you could really you could choose from like six or eight different things. So. Um, next down is Dexter. Dexter is, uh, one of our cats. He's a male cat. He's probably, I'm going to guess seven or eight years old at this point. So he is, he's a human fighter instead of a, 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 a dwarf. I made the first, you know, my, the Herf character and Taven are dwarfs. So I made Dexter a, a human and, uh, Kipper is another male cat we have um he is also a human fighter so he and dexter are you know the same race i, I kept them together and then uh, <laughs> i'm sorry this has taken a while here but I'm, I'm fumbling with the keys uh lily is a is a female dog of ours so i decided you know let's have so lily and lola are both uh, dogs and lily is a corgi Lola is a small Burmese, um, but Lily, we can look at her stats here. So I made, I made Lily and Lola these cleric magic users. So I figured, you know, the clerics can turn undead in this game, and they can heal you, and they can also, you know, throw magic spells at enemies and stuff. So I, I made the two of these guys, two of these girls. I gave them, I even gave them a female head. So. We can look at Lola here, too. <laughs> Lola looks funny. She doesn't look anything like that. She's a tiny white dog. But, um, so all of these guys uh, are are decent. So I, I kind of thought that uh, let's, let's begin adventuring. So I'm going to hit B. Now, this has been um, ages since I played this, probably seven or eight years. So, and even then, I probably only played it for an afternoon for an hour or so. Um, I'm not going to sit here and read everything these guys say. Uh, Rolf is talking to us here. Um, oh, okay, this isn't me. We're walking on our own. Uh, entrance to the temple. So I know that... Um, you know, the, you can go into the temple. These guys will heal you uh, if you are afflicted in some way. Of course, I think it costs money or something. So it's just showing us around, I guess, here in the beginning of the game. This is the passenger dock, I guess, that we came out of. I know eventually I remember going to some keep on a boat. Um, this is a training, I believe this is a training room. Yeah, training school. Um, I guess this is City Hall. So you can pick up missions and quests, I guess, from City Hall. Uh, on your right is one of the entrances to the, of the Soon Temple. Okay. The monster-ridden areas of the old city. Okay, that's where we want to go, man. 
Well, maybe not eventually. I think we have to go check out Town Hall or something. Uh, so I don't remember how to play this. I haven't read anything uh, to kind of come up to speed on what to do. So, um, uh, yep. All right. So I'm controlling this with the old arrow keys. What's this? Oh, it's just a doorway to something. Is this the town? Yeah, I guess it's just the something to do with the town. I know there are different shops and things in here. One platinum piece. I don't know if Herf has any platinum. How do I look at my inventory? Um. Whoop! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No. That's, that's a little pricey. This looks like another shop here. Um, if I, I, I think you have to in camp, right? All right, so now I can view. So we have gold. We don't actually have. I don't know how many platinum is is gold. Is it a thousand or a hundred? I don't quite remember. Um, let's exit. We didn't do anything to save other than. This looks like a shop. Specializes, uh, yes, show me your wares. Um, so I think I gotta hit the one key, show Herf your wares. Herf wants to buy. So we have hand axe, uh, I don't know what a bardiche is. A glaive. Um, all right, so one one is a very important key, apparently. Do you have more than this? No, it's just this, okay. Oh, All right, next, you have more? You do have more, look at you. Uh, I'm gonna go, you know what, let's, let's, let's just go right for it, man. Let's go for a, I don't remember how much gold I have. Let's go for a, uh, a two-handed sword or a bastard sword? I guess two-handed sword is the most expensive, so by that logic it must be the best one, right? Okay. Did I buy it? I don't want to buy it a second time. Let's see what Herf has for items. Herf has a two-handed sword. Let's ready the two-handed sword. So I guess, do I got to do this for each one? Okay. Let's see, let's get, get one of these for Taven too. Um, I need to go to the next menu. Let's buy a two-handed sword. Okay, we're going to exit, we're going to view, we're going to look at items, we're going to ready the sword, Dexter, okay, um, I guess Dexter's going to buy stuff too. I guess I could have pooled all the money or something. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. So let's get these these two uh, bastard swords just because they're kind of, uh, you know, bastards. All right. So let's let's exit out of this. Uh, I will equip that in a bit. Let's buy you also. A bastard sword. Now, these two guys, I'm not sure what these two can actually wield. I know they're clerics, so they can probably um, have a mace or something. So let's see, maybe we can buy a mace. What do you guys have? Clubs, daggers. Um, next. 
and we'll get you a mace. I know that we'll end up probably finding, um, you know, decent weapons. So, and I probably should be buying armor instead of weapons. But let's see. Next, so you've got a mace. Let's buy that. Okay, exit. So, you didn't have too much money to start with. Well, we do have some platinum. Okay, they make change for you. I don't know what that translates into. I'll have to do some research between between episodes if we decide to do more of this. Hearth's got 18 platinum. <clears throat> I don't know. I think I had about 120 to start with. Something like that. Uh, well, anyway, he doesn't have, um, he doesn't have anything related to, uh, armor, so let's, let's poke around here. Who are you? Arms and armor, look at me, just finding these things randomly, okay. Yes, please show me your wares. Going to view. Oh, actually, no, I want to buy. Wait, is this the same thing? What am I, stupid? Did I just need to keep going? Oh, I needed to keep going. Okay. Whoa, look at how expensive this stuff is. Your wares are pricey, sir. So, let's see. This guy's got a two-handed sword, right? So, let's see what we can buy. I don't know what platinum translates into for gold. Is it 5, 10? What do I have? 18 times if it's 5, it's over 100. Um, I think banded mail is pretty good. Can I buy that? Well, it didn't tell me I couldn't. What do we have for items? Ooh, you've got banded mail, okay. Uh, e -e 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 ready. All right. So Herf is ready for battle. Um, let's see, you'll go down. Buy. Next, next. I don't know how much money this guy has. Let's see if we can buy banded mail. Would imagine he would tell me, right? Like, I'm sorry, Taven, you don't possess the funding for this particular item. How much money does. Ooh, he's. Well, he's got a decent amount of money, too. So, right, maybe we can buy banded mail for all these dudes. Oh, okay. Buy. And we'll scoop down to banded mail. Look at plate mail. 400. What do you think? I made of money? I just started this game, man. Okay. Go down to Kipper. Kipper's going to buy some banded mail. I don't even know what banded mail is. Buy. Exit. All right, Lily, I think being clerics, these two can only... They can only wear certain things. Clerics and magic users. So I'm not quite sure what to equip these guys with, but... Let's buy something and try it anyway. Um, all right, this is the armor. They're probably going to have to use like leather armor or I don't know, maybe we'll try studded leather armor. We can probably get this from any number of kobolds. 
Uh, let's view. Let's see if she can. Oh, I might as well equip this. Okay, she can wear studded leather. That's good. Alright, so let's do the same for Lola here. She's a tiny little Maltese, also known as Niblet. So Niblet's going to get some... Let's get some studded leather armor. Oop, I went too far. I have not figured out how to go back up the list. So... <laughs> All right, I think we got armor for everybody. Not everybody's equipped yet, but let's get out of here. Um, we can view Lola. We can view items. We will ready. Ready. Okay. Oh, I think... I don't remember... Did, uh, did I already? No, I didn't. Okay. Thought I readied um, Dexter, but not Kipper, but I guess not. So, view items. Ready. Ready. Exit. Exit. I think that's all of them. I guess maybe I should... Double check Taven or something. View items. Ah, uh, okay. Oop, ready. Okay, well. I don't want to do this again. So we're going to save it. I'm just using save game A. These other ones don't exist. It's just. No, let's not quit. Let's at least go see if we can get into a skirmish. And uh, if all my characters die, then I'm a terrible person. Which way do we come? This way? That's the docks. I don't really remember my way around. Should have been paying attention during the tour. What did that say? Man, I got no idea where we're going. Poisonous barren river. Remind me not to go swimming in there. The gateway to the unsettled areas, the city which eyes you suspicious. The city watch eyes you so okay. Let's go in here, man. We have entered the monster crawling slums of Falan. Uh Okay. Um. Oh, you know, I'm not running from this. Wuss bags. We're combating. Six of me. Um. Let's see. Aim use turn. What is turn? Oh, turn. No, I don't want to turn. Uh, what's what's move? Okay, I'm gonna stand here, maybe. And I'm done. And we're gonna guard. So if somebody runs up, you attack him. Uh. This guy, I'm going to leave right here. I'm going to say guard. I don't think kobolds have... Uh, I don't think kobolds have arrows. At least these red ones don't. So I think we're safe for the moment. Uh, who is this one? This is Herf. Herf is mega brave. 
So we're going to move. Boom! Herf the Mighty. Alright, this is Lola. Alright, Lola's going to stay right here. Because she's kind of a wimp. So we're going to guard. Taven's the man. Alright, we're moving Taven. I'll go this way. I can go diagonal, right, if I use the keyboard. Alright, I'm going to leave him here. Oop. And he's going to guard. Kipper! Alright, we're going to bring... Gonna bring old Kipper down this way. And I'm going to say done and guard. Lily, you're going to stay there and do nothing, because you got like zero hit points. Alright, Dexter, you don't have a lot of hit points either, so... We're going to say done, guard. Hearth's got some hit points, so we'll run. I don't know how that hit point happened, I think it was just a random... Miss me, sucker. Oh, I missed you, too. I guess I should have been gloating. Uh-oh. <laughs> Earth is surrounded. Um. Okay. You are done guarding. I need to get some reinforcements over here. Maybe Kipper can go after this guy. And nobody can hit anything. All right. Taven strikes a killing blow. Let's see. Okay, you guys are guarding. Just oh, one of them ran away. All right, Dexter. We're gonna move Dexter. Took him out. Oh, and the other guy ran away. What a wuss. So apparently, even though all these enemies are gone, I still have to tell these guys what to do. Continue the battle now. I think you can try to chase them. So we received eight experience points. What do we get for loot, man? No, I don't want to look at that. Oh, I gotta hit take money. Copper, man. Okay, let's take 96. I don't know how heavy that is. Probably should have pulled it. Uh, some short swords. Yeah, why not? We'll take them. Um. Harf is carrying a lot. I don't know how much encumbrance is bad. I guess maybe I need to look this up. 756. That seems pretty heavy. Seems pretty heavy. Let's pull it and share it and see what. Okay, well, that came down a little bit. Probably because he's carrying these um, short swords. Oh, man. Didn't you guys just run away from me? Like, literally, didn't you just run away? No, oh, this one's going to get ugly quick. Alright, Dexter. One down. down. Uh, I don't know if I want Lily up there. She's gonna, she's just gonna guard. I don't want her fighting. Now, characters can die in this. It's happened to me before. 
<laughs> it looks like Taven's not looking good. Uh, man. All right, I think I got a. No. try to attack one of these guys here. There we go, finally. Alright, Lily. Kipper gets to move again? Okay. Get this guy, take him out. There we go. Alright, Lola's gonna move up here. Boom! Somebody hit him, thank you. Cheapers. Okay, tell them all the guard, continue battling now. Eight experience points. Look at that. We've we've earned sixteen experience points. Um we're going to pool and share. Exit. We get back into the town. Can we encamp here? Uh, I wonder if we can rest. It was like a few hours. Oh, okay. So, I wonder if we can encamp here. Let's see if we can rest for like four hours. Uh oh. Oh no. It's gonna be bad. Um. Oh, okay. I hit flee, but now I don't know where I am. Oh, we bashed the door. Okay. Um, wondering if I should save it. I'm just going to save it. No. Let's see if we can rest a while. Nope, no rest for the weary. Mm, more orcs. Can I wait? Ooh, the orcs fled. Okay. Let's try resting again. I need to get these guys... Um, I need to get these guys some... Uh, some health now. Oh, man, okay. Let's wait. Well, none of them are very tough. Okay, I'm going to try it one more time, and that's just going to prove that we can't actually stay here. Has anybody actually gained a... Nobody's gained any health back here. Okay. okay. I don't know where we're going, so... You have surprised a party of orcs. Those weren't orcs, those were kobolds. Uh -oh. Goblins. Oh, they're all super afraid of me. Maybe we can encamp and rest. I mean, where can you rest if you can't rest anywhere? You rudely interrupted after eight seconds. 
They interrupt me, but then they run away. You guys are wicked rude. Oh no. Uh, I don't know. Uh, talk. Uh, let's. Should we be nice? I'm gonna be nice to him since this is my first conversation. I may have a use for you, the man says. <laughs> uh, the potion is ready, but I can't leave to fetch it. Bring it here. I'll pay well. What do you do? We accept. We'll go find your potion, bro. It's in the old rope guild. Uh, okay. Am I going to remember that we have to go to the old rope guild? Speak my name, Olo. Somebody write that down for me. I feel like he should have let me rest in there. That's pretty mean. Jeez. Oh, Seedy looking. Yo, Olo. Oh man, he kicked me right up. I'm not sure. like you know you want me to do stuff for you you should maybe be nice to me all right we're either gonna get out of here or we're gonna die I guess Time. I think we might uh, we might have a man down here. We might lose some people. Nice. Really, you missed both times, dude. But he can hit anything. You guys are terrible warriors. Wow, well, no, at least they're not hitting me either. Down you go. Man, missed. I guess I'm gonna move him up, take a shot at this guy. Nice. Come on, man. Let's get these guys. Gonna end it. No, nope, Earth missed. <laughs> Alright, Taven. You're gonna stand there because you got one hit point left, bro. Boom. Alright, Lily, you're What is this guy like? He's he's the most yeah, you're not going anywhere. You're. No, oh, really? Alright, I'm just gonna let him run away. I kind of remember this now, playing this years ago, where these guys will flee like this, and yeah, see, now he's gonna get stuck in a corner. So he can't actually flee any further. So I've gotta go track him down. Oh, I'm 
just going to have all these guys wait here because most of them are hurting. Or if we'll eventually hit him once. Maybe we can bring this guy up. Dexter the cat coming to the rescue. stuff oh my gosh well we can probably sell some of that if we can carry it let's see pool share take probably can't take all of this right Do you want to go back? Yeah, all right. Well, so let's see if we can take one of these. Why not? If I take this. Just take everything. Overloaded. All right, but I can take all of that, though. Okay, so if I go down to Taven. And we take that. Is this the way out? Woo! Okay, now I need to go find that overpriced lady. Yeah, they, okay. Where's the overpriced? Oh! Um, yeah, I'm gonna stay. Uh, we'll make Harv pay. It's his game. I don't know if he's got any money. Um, so we we got to rest, I guess. Let's see what like resting for a day does. Oh, I guess that's way too long. So you get one hit point back per hour. So I get 15 hours to wait now. <laughs> Okay, everybody's healed. Yeah, we're going to stop resting. We're going to save this to A. And I think that's it, guys. I think I'm going to call it an episode here. I don't know if uh, anybody has any interest in this, but it's it's fun, at least for me, you know, reminiscing and uh, playing this old game, you know, that I probably played close to, well, 30 years ago. I'm sure it was 30 years ago when I started, so... Um, anyway, I uh, hope uh, you guys enjoyed this. If uh, Check out some of our other videos, and if you find uh, that we're, we're doing things you enjoy, give us a like and uh, subscribe if you care to. That really would help us out. We appreciate it, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks, guys.